let's jump on this number two flyweight right here. Let's talk about Tyler Santos here real quick. All right, y'all. As y'all know, Tyler Santos has been making a making a big wave over the past few weeks, almost about a month now, you know, talking that good stuff. Ain't even got a fight lined up, but Tyler Santos has been making it known that, look, I'm right here. Valentina, I want a rematch. I want this rematch. I want this rematch. Let's do it in December. Uh, let's do it in December. <laughs> you know, that's what she's been saying. You know, Tyler Santos has been making it known that, look, she wants this rematch. She's been working. She's been posting up uh, uh, videos of her training, you know, working on her game. She even went to the extent of saying Valentina was running from her. She said Valentina was running from her. She said Mick Maynard and, you know, her, her manager, they, 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 they don't want to. They don't want to make the fight. You know, she, no, she has said that Mick Maynard and her manager said that Valentina were running and that, that she didn't want to fight. You know, she said that both of them want, didn't want to fight. But I, I find that crazy that Mick Maynard would say that. But anyways, hey, she's out here saying everything. You know, she's saying Valentina running. She don't want to fight. She's ducking her. And that's what it is. All the while, you know, she's out here putting her face out here and just, just talking good game. And you know what I got to say to that? Props to Tyler Santos. Much respect, much props to Tyler Santos. And you know why? Not because he's telling the truth here. Not because Valentina's really running scared. But Tyler Santos wants the smoke. She wants the fire. Forget the smoke. She wants the fire. She wants the fire. She wants the belt. And that's what you're supposed to do to the champion you're supposed to hound them until they give you the rematch you're supposed to hound them period if you want to fight them right you got to get into their head you got to get into their you got to get into their mode you got to get into their gym you got to get into the dms whatever and make it known that this is what you want and tyler santos is doing that she's doing that right now and like, like i said that's what you're supposed to do whether there's full-on truth to it you got to make it known that look i want this fight more than anybody and i mean she period she wants it more than anybody in the division like there's still fighters out there that haven't fought her but tyler wants to do it again tyler truly wants to do it again because she's working and she's getting better and she's talking the right amount of trash right so i like this strategy with tyler santos you know this is what you're supposed to do whether you guys believe it or not you know she's doing it to rattle the cage of the champion to make the champion say you know you know what what is this girl talking about she wants to make valentina say is this girl crazy What's this girl smoking? She really believes I'm scared of her. Hey, you know, let's sign this fight. Let me give her the rematch. I'm going to whoop her for real. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take her five rounds. I'm going to whoop her. That's what she's trying to get Valentina to do. She's trying to get Valentina out of her mindset. Maybe not even out of her mindset, but she just want to get her in the cage again. Right. But with that talk, maybe she can take Val. Maybe she can take Val out of her mind. That's, you know, maybe she can't take her out of her focus. And that's why you got to do that stuff sometimes. You know, you got to make it known that this is what you want. And you got to make the champion uncomfortable. So do it. You got to do this type of stuff. But yeah, man, like, that's why I didn't even take the approach. Because a lot of people, when they heard Tyler saying this type of stuff, the first thing they're going to say, the simps of Valentina and the casual fans, they're going to say, oh, man, this girl's stupid. She. She talking about Valentina scared. Valentina ain't scared. We know Valentina ain't scared. Why she ain't running? Why this girl be quiet? Well, first off, look, this girl wants to fight. And to get a fight, you got to do whatever you want. You got to do whatever it takes by any means necessary to get that fight. And that's what Tyler Santos is doing right now. She's just saying the right things. She's trolling to make it known to the UFC that this is the fight to make and to make her fans, the Brazilian fans and the fans here say, look, Valentina, this is the fight you need to take. Because, you know, whether you like her or not, well, the fighter, well, the fans that don't like the fighter of Tyler Santos, they're going to say, hey, man, UFC, make this fight. Shut this girl up. Shut Tyler Santos up. She's talking too much junk. This is the only fight we want to see. We don't even want to see Alexa Grasso right now because, you know, she don't really make it known that she wanted like Tyler Santos. Tyler wanted to do it again. Shut her up this time. Give Val that fight. You know what I mean? That's that's what um, all of this talk is doing. This is the type of strategy that Tyler Santos is taking. And you got to love it. You got to love it because right now nobody else is talking. So don't get mad at Tyler for, you know, making it know she wants to fight Valentina again. You got to do this. You got to do this. Because if, if, if the fighters don't say it, y'all get mad. But now that Tyler's 
talking reckless, y'all still getting mad. But no, this is what I like. This is the fight game. This is fighting words, right? So yeah, um, my thoughts though, look, Val is not scared. I have to address that part because people still don't understand. Valentina is not scared here. She just said that, look, I want to make sure the girl's healed up. I don't want to fight her next because, you know, I want to I want to make sure she's she's, you know, properly healed up, you know, because she said, like, you know, some fans out there, they they get bloodthirsty. They they just want to see somebody get beat up. You know, Val wasn't like that. You know, she did say, look, I want to see her get get healed up, take another fight and then make it interesting. You know, then we, we can do it again. Right. But. At this pace, it might happen again, because like I said, Val might get a little bit pissed off at how Tyler's been talking. And she'll just say, you know what? This girl still might be tender. Let's go ahead and do it. I'm a tenderizer for real. You know, that eye might not be healed, healed up. Let me go ahead and take full advantage of that and really put the striking clinic on it. But hey, you know, Val working now. Y'all seen it. Break is over. Valentina out here working. She putting in work. And she, you know, you know they working on everything that um, is going to try to neutralize Tyler Santos in this fight. Heck, man, Valentina probably already had it the first time around, but she, like I said, she kind of let the ego get to her and she just kept wanting to wrestle with Tyler Santos. So you never know how this fight's going to go this time around. Tyler could be working on her game, but Valentina, she's been doing this a long time, y'all. Been doing this a long time. But when it comes down to it, it's going to be good. And if Tyler can get this fight next, if it happens next, I mean, like, first quarter of 2023 i gotta give her props i gotta give tyler santos props because she talked herself into a fight and, and not only a fight but a second fight with the champion right but yeah let me know guys what y'all think in the comment section about this i love it man i love it